Megan Thee Stallion slams Spotify users amid Tory Lanez chaos. The tea is steaming hot. Today, we're serving up a boiling pot of tea straight from the Megan Thee Stallion universe. And it's not just about festive outfits and holiday cheer. The Cobra rapper, known for her unapologetic attitude, recently stirred the pot by throwing some shade at Spotify users. But that's not all. Megan has some serious warnings for those who have been calling her name. And it seems like she's gearing up for a powerful entrance in 2024. And let's not forget the mention of Tori Lanez, a key figure in Megan's recent past who was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the 2020 shooting incident involving the rapper. It looks like Megan is not only addressing the naysayers, but also signaling a transformative and impactful chapter in her career. Now, we all know Megan Thee Stallion is no stranger to making headlines. But this time, it's not about her music or jaw-dropping performances. Nope, it's about her recent Instagram live chat that has Spotify users feeling some type of way. On Saturday, December 23, Megan hopped on Instagram live to flaunt her Christmas outfit and bring some holiday joy. However, what seemed like a festive vibe took an unexpected turn as Megan had more than just seasonal cheer up her sleeve, something that stirred up a bit of controversy. The Instagram live chat featuring Megan Thee Stallion took an unexpected turn when the rapper playfully expressed her disdain for Spotify. You don't got Spotify? Bitch, Spotify? Okay, Mary to the game. I feel like if you 15, you got Spotify. Okay. Yeah, she went there. The Cobra rapper didn't hold back when jokingly expressing her disdain for Spotify and its users. Now, let's be real. Megan's got a tough musical persona. But her fans, the hotties, can be even tougher. After Megan's playful jab, her Spotify-using fans weren't having it. Let's take a look at some of the responses they fired back. One user defended the platform, stating, Girl, Spotify is much better than Apple Music other than the music quality. Another fan highlighted Spotify's diverse artist pool, saying, Spotify literally has artists that have great music that aren't on iTunes. The playlists you can compile on Spotify are better than iTunes. The backlash even extended to Megan's potential playlist covers, with one fan asserting she's never getting a Spotify playlist cover again. On a humorous note, a listener noted, I'm literally listening to her song on Spotify, LMAO. Despite the heated reactions, some fans stood in solidarity with Megan, declaring their allegiance to other music streaming apps such as Apple Music. It appears that Megan Thee Stallion's comments have ignited a spirited debate among her fanbase about the merits of different streaming platforms. Megan Thee Stallion recently shared her excitement for the upcoming era of her career, expressing her eagerness to have the freedom to do everything she wants whenever she wants. However, the Houston rapper didn't stop at positive vibes. During an Instagram live session, she issued a bold warning to those who have been calling for her attention, vowing to respond whether the calls were positive or negative. Am I excited for this era? That was the question that we was on last. Of course I'm excited for this era because I get to do everything I want to do whenever I want to do it. And I'm about to give everybody exactly what they've been looking for, good or bad. This declaration comes on the heels of Megan resolving a legal dispute with her former label, 1501 Certified Entertainment, marking her transition to a free agent. With this legal hurdle behind her, Megan seems poised to embrace newfound creative freedom and deliver exactly what her fans have been anticipating. Beyond the music and the controversies, Megan Thee Stallion has proven time and again that she's a force to be reckoned with. One standout moment was her powerful message to critics in the aftermath of Tori Lannis' sentencing. 
On Sunday, August 13, Megan Thee Stallion took the stage at the Outside Lands Music Festival in San Francisco, and in a powerful moment during her performance, she addressed the adversity she's faced as a hot girl in the industry. Megan boldly declared to the crowd, being a hot girl in general is just not easy. I really appreciate y'all. So today, I just want to say, forget all my haters. None of that stuff you were doing or saying broke me. None of that stuff you were all doing or saying to the hotties broke them. I want all the hotties to put their middle finger up right now. I really appreciate y'all. So today, I just want to say, The incident in question occurred on July 12, 2020, involving rapper Tori Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. The two artists, along with others, were in an SUV leaving a Hollywood Hills party. Reports indicate that an argument ensued, resulting in gunfire from within the vehicle. Megan Thee Stallion, initially quiet about the details, later revealed in an Instagram Live video that she had suffered gunshot wounds to both of her feet. The shooting incident prompted widespread speculation and concern among fans and the media. Tori Lanez was arrested on July 14, 2020, and charged with carrying a concealed weapon in a vehicle. The charges did not initially include allegations related to the shooting. As the investigations progressed, more information emerged, leading to Tori Lanez being charged with assault with a semi-automatic firearm and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. The situation became more complex as the legal proceedings unfolded, with Megan Thee Stallion publicly accusing Tori Lanez of being the person who shot her. The intensity of the saga heightened as the drama unfolded. Merely two days following Tori Lanez's sentencing, he opted to break his silence with a bold statement, staunchly refusing to accept accountability for the shooting incident involving Megan Thee Stallion. In his declaration, Tori exhibited unwavering confidence, asserting, I have never let a hard time intimidate me. I never let no jail time eliminate me. Despite the legal repercussions, Tori maintained his innocence and indicated a resolute stance on the matter. While acknowledging responsibility for the verbal and intimate aspects of the situation, he adamantly refused to extend an apology for the charges he contends are unjustly leveled against him. The statement adds another layer of complexity to an already intricate narrative, leaving the public to grapple with contrasting perspectives on the events that transpired. And that's it for today's tea. What do you think about this whole situation? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest gossip.